we are presenting our first conversation of our three-part series of the Ultimate College Toolkit. Today is all about making friends. You think it was pretty simple, right? You know, you're on a college campus, everybody's your age, you're in classes, you're in dorms. Why the heck is making friends so hard? And we have some college students with us that will help answer these questions. So what's the deal with college campus? Everyone's glued on their phone, doesn't want to make friends, and just like on TikTok all the time, 24-7. Not there, present. Yeah. Um, I think for me, most people around me, honestly, all they want to do is just smoke and f <laughs> Like, okay, I get, like, sure, you need you need to have that and everything, but some people strictly just only want to do that, and that's not, like, I don't want to have friends if they only want to do that. Yeah, but then, like, who are they smoking with <laughs> if they're not? friends or like who is just rent like hey yo you want to get high and like bang is this the conversation we're having i mean sometimes it is that way like if other people are smoking and they know like sometimes you just know if people smoke or not you know yeah. so they can coordinate and be like oh like you want to just you know and then they'll they won't even know each other but they'll hang out because they're smoking and yeah the smoking i get okay yeah for like sex i think it's more like Obviously, there has to be a conversation before, like, oh, I think you're cute or whatever, and then it happens. And yeah. You go from there, but yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't know because that's not only what I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, I mean, it sounds that there's no foundation, and everything then is just like, it's not even acquaintances. Like, so how would you guys? When you have like a friend, if you call somebody your friend, how what how do you define what a friend is to you? For me, a friend is someone who's there that I can rely on to tell my secrets, to tell good news, bad news, and like they can expect the same for me. Like I'll be there listening, like whatever they want. Like it could be text, face, person, just someone there to talk to and trust. I think that's what I define a friend. Um yeah, I can kind of relate to like the whole relying part. Of course, trust is a really big um, value in friendship for me. But I also have different types of friends. So like, if I'm feeling kind of like sad and I need somebody to cheer me up, I know who to call. Mm -hmm. If I need to vent about like something going on with my family, like I know who. I, like I don't know if that makes sense. Like, yeah, yeah. Our different group friends. Mm -hmm. Like we have those like successful friends where every time I'm with them, like yes, we're bringing each other up. And then there's those people like yeah, let's go out, you know. So I agree. Like we have mm -hmm. different types of like friends. But and I groups. Think, yeah, and every friendship, I think like how she was saying, trust, um, being able to rely on, having a support system, um, just all of that. I I, I agree with it's all. Yeah. Okay. I like I think the traits are fair and of course we want like you know people to be we can rely on and honesty and I guess where it gets complicated and I think what makes it hard for on campus is um, like the, the category you know like how do you know is this like my classmate that I'm doing a group project with is this um, somebody that I'm you know whatever I just eat lunch with yeah. <laughs> you know is this somebody that I just walked home from a party you know like yeah. how do you May, like how do you determine which category you put these friends in and how do you know if they feel the same way you know like we talk a lot about like like um you know it could be if you're like friends with people on instagram and you're liking them you know oh we're friends we're friends and then you see they have a party and you're not invited and you're like oh well we were friends um so how do you guys feel about that and how do you determine these categories and classifications for friends I think it's about how much time and how often I see them. Mm -hmm. Because like right when I go to class, I like get their number because I know I'm gonna be absent or like late. And I literally write on my phone con contact like English one yeah. student or like <laughs> business two or something like that. So that's the only time I'll be seeing them in class. But like let's say we wanna go get coffee or whatever, then I'll like change that and be like went out with them or like make a note of my contacts. Um, so that's how I think I define my friends, how often or like how like I see them or like okay. just like if they invite me out then we're like building something more, you know, so yeah. But that's how it starts off when you're on campus. English one, 
my homework yeah. content. So you have like an organizational strategy yeah. for like aligning your friends. Um, what, like how do you guys feel about the making friends on camp? Like do you guys, do you feel like everybody feels the same as you? Like we all want friends, but we don't know how to do it? Or is it just like normal? Like this is all acquaintances? Like is this a problem? Like this like making friends and like are, do we really want to be making friends? Or are we cool with what we have happening? I think at the end of the day, everybody wants to have friends. Yeah. But the problem is nobody knows how to start the conversation <laughs> yeah. on how to become a friend. So I know other people are more going like, you know, sororities and fraternities, they join that because they want to be a part of something and also have that community, which mm -hmm. I was thinking about doing, but then I got intimidated, so I'm not in one. But, I mean, there's things like that where you can put yourself out there. Yeah. If you don't know how to be like, hi, like, let's be friends. <laughs> yeah. Nobody says that. So. Yeah, so, which is why we're making these toolkits. Um, and I think it will be helpful then. We like to offer some challenges to all of you. And we want to level one. So this is basic. Basic, how to make a friend. Um, simply invite a classmate to coffee. And we're using the word classmate intentionally because it's just the neighbor you sit next to or you might have done a group project. So level one, um, simply invite the classmate to coffee. Level two, we can invite an acquaintance to spend the afternoon with you. Now it's a little scary, but like we're just kind of advancing a little bit of um, you know, coffee can be like 20 minutes and then the afternoon, maybe it's like an hour, maybe you do something um, that's a little more time consuming, I guess, to get to know each other a little better. And then we got the big doozy of level three. You can invite a friend to do something more personal. Maybe it's like get manicure, pedicure, I don't know what your thing is. <laughs> um, but something that's just like definitely a little more, more intimate and changing that level. Um, and these challenges are hard. We get it, like we have college kids here with us that um, can tell you firsthand that struggle is real. Um, and these ultimate toolkits are designed to help you and this one is you know, all about making friends. We shared three challenges with you and um, we wanna hear how your challenges go. So please go to Discord to tell us how you did. And also listen to our podcast, simply called Pack the Podcast, to hear more college life experiences. Um, and see how other college students are making friends. See you next time. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>